it can be absolutely terrifying to wear one's heart on one's sleeve. And that's why I wear t-shirts sometimes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Terrible joke, I know. <clears throat> well, t-shirts don't have sleeves, so no, I'm just... Anyway, that was, yeah, a terrible joke, but hey. <laughs> a little bit of humour to lighten the mood. But yeah, it can be absolutely terrifying to wear one's heart on one's sleeve. Because you're exposing everything, pretty much. Now, I choose to do this over and over again. And I will continue to do this over and over again. Simply because that's me by design. Doesn't make me better or worse than anybody else. It's just me. Why am I sharing this with you? Because actually, wearing one's heart and one's sleeve can be very, very cathartic healing. And it allows you to expand into that soulful, loving being that you are. Because through embodiment and releasing those terrifying feelings, and possibly sadness and whatever, you know, emotions are there, stored. <laughs> you get to create space for your heart to come through more and more. Yeah? So through releasing the, what I call, shadow aspect of self, which encompasses being terrified and sad and all that stuff, you know? Really, really, really allows more space for one's heart to come through. And that's why I wear my heart on my sleeve. So, no, I don't always wear t-shirts to avoid. <laughs> Not that that would work anyway, but hey, it would be cool if it did, but hey. Um, yeah, so I just felt to share that with you as a simple sharing. Because maybe some of you, you know, are feeling to somewhat begin to open up more to being, you know, vulnerable to some degree. And therefore expanding your heart space. Um, but, you know, if it's for you, it's for you. Um, and I just wanted to share that that's how I work you know, with myself personally, and yeah, it's my way, and maybe some of you who don't live that way would like to maybe, you know, start living that way, and I can definitely say that actually, for me, you know, I stand quite firmly in this, in that the only way is through. You know, sometimes, and what I mean by that is sometimes we try and avoid things in our lives, pain and suffering and all that stuff, but actually it's there. You know, it's still sitting there, <laughs> waiting to be released. Um, and eventually, it's going to start getting all moldy and stale, and one is going to start thinking, ah, how, why, what, you know, what's going on? And... Yeah, and that's why I personally choose to share, to release, sorry, in this way. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you out there um, as one of my, you know, caramel and coconut tarot inspired creatives. Um, yeah, all right. <laughs>